Hello, welcome to the Mark Janod Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about the original video of the Flipper Zero hacking gas prices. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So uh, I'm going to be talking and the, the original video is going to be playing on the screen so you can see it in real time. So this, this really interested me, right? Because we all know Flipper Zero and the majority of its hacking capabilities, but I want to talk about Bluetooth and... Do you think that they were able to do that because of Bluetooth or kind of whatever the case may be? So I wanted to talk about uh, some Bluetooth types in the Flipper Zero while the video is playing so so we can try to make sense out of this. Uh, so we have blue jacking and this simple attack in which a hacker finds a Bluetooth enabled device nearby and latches onto it using pairing uh, and then if they need to authenticate themselves with a password, they can use brute forcing software, which cycles through multiple combinations until it finds the right one. Once connected, they can spam the victim with messages and images, right? While bluejacking is often more of a uh, nuisance than a significant threat, once a hacker can connect with you easily, it's another route through which uh, they can try to reel you know you in with scams like phishing or bogus uh, crypto schemes right please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button so uh let's talk about before i get into the other things let's talk about remote price change at gas stations right remote remote price change refers to the ability for gas stations to change their fuel prices remotely without needing to physically change the prices at the pump this can be done you know through the use of specialized software and electronic price signs that are connected to the internet this the software allows the station operator to update prices in real time based on market conditions supply and demand and other you know also other factors so remote price change technology can be very beneficial for gas station gas station operators as it also allows them to quickly and easily adjust prices in response to changes in the market so that's one of the reasons why i'm talking about bluetooth because uh there's a whole bunch of remote processes when it comes to gas station operators and and the gas pump so i'm trying to make sense of it uh bluetooth etc so Hopefully it makes more sense. The next one is blue snarfing and uh, this hack is particularly effective on older devices or ones running out of date software. Blue snarfing is where a hacker steals information on your phone via Bluetooth. Uh, it comes from the programming term snarfing meaning to copy over files or data and can target a range of data including calendars, emails, text, photos, videos and your phone book. The hacker needs to download uh, you know, a certain kind of information fairly quickly while they're in range of about 30 feet. Now, this one is one of the most reportedly dangerous forms of Bluetooth, right? One of the most dangerous forms of Bluetooth hack called blue bugging. Uh, a successful blue bugging attack will give a cyber criminal complete control over a device, allowing them to listen in on your calls and access any data you have stored. So, Let's talk a little bit about uh, blue bugging, right? Blue bugging usually happens as a result of vulnerabilities in either your smartphone's Bluetooth settings or those in external wireless devices. So because it's so dangerous, let's talk about how to avoid it. So blue, bu blue bugging exploits the gaps in operating systems and hardware. So the best way to prevent becoming a victim is to practice safe digital hygiene and make sure you install regular system and app updates. Lastly, we have Bluetooth impersonation. So while hackers can try to attack through new Bluetooth connection requests, a more subtle method is to disguise their approach by pretending to be an existing paired device or friend. Okay. So please let me know, uh, how your thoughts as far as how this person was able to hack the gas prices using the flipper zero at designated gas station and what could that mean towards the future please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership please comment see you on the next video